Hi, John Landstrom, Blue Moon Cycle, beautiful sunny day here in Norcross, Georgia. We are a BMW uh, authorized dealer and uh, we're here outside the shop today uh, featuring this uh, motorcycle which is a 1985 K100RS. This was the uh, first four-cylinder K-bike produced by BMW and this first year 85 had a little more power than they had later on, hotter cam. I think the EPA uh, caused them to reduce the power output a little bit so of the uh, K100s this was the uh, the first one and the strongest one that they made and the reason we're featuring this today on a YouTube video is because uh, it has now become somewhat of a classic bike. K-bikes uh, have their own following, they're known for uh, extreme reliability, good performance, and the KRS, uh, beautiful styling. This uh, motorcycle is um, extremely nice condition for its age. It has 53,000 miles, the paint is original, and as far as I can see, the paint uh, looks um, practically flawless. We don't have any uh, scratches to speak of, no dents, uh, no fading. Uh, looking, uh, taking a walk around here, the front uh, mirror on the right has a little bit of a scratch. Fender is beautiful, fairings beautiful. Uh, left mirror, uh, no damage. Uh, we do have a um, little bit of a scratch on the lower crash bar, but uh, all in all, I'd say this is. Uh, at least a good 90% uh, perfect bike. Corbin seat, which uh, again is flawless, has a little place back here for a customer. Passenger backrest, BMW luggage rack on the rear, cowling, BMW uh, saddlebags, which are easily removable. There are some special options up front. We have a water temperature gauge, voltmeter, oil pressure gauge and oil temperature gauge. Those are all VDO gauges added tastefully in the right places. Look very nice. We have the European headlight switch which allows you to shut the headlight off. Heated handlebar grips, four-way flashers, tinted uh, windscreen on the front, little cowling uh, flared up uh, flipper there on the front of the windshield and a plastic uh, headlight protector on the front headlight lens. Another nice feature on this bike is the Kony rear shock. Uh, everybody back then wanted to upgrade on the shocks and we have the Kony shock which uh, in its day it was sold with a lifetime warranty. Very good shock. The wheels have been custom painted black, has a Telefix fork brace, stainless steel brake lines, and just a nice, well-preserved, uh, stock-appearing motorcycle with uh, all the right upgrades. A 1985 BMW introduced their four-cylinder liquid-cooled machine. It was a radical departure. Until then, they were famous for the air-cooled opposed twin engine. And uh, when this bike came out, it really uh, took the motorcycle press and the public almost uh, overnight changed it, BMW's image from a conservative, uh, shall we say, uh, touring bike into uh, really a sport, sport bike market with uh, a completely new engine. Uh, this engine design uh, still to, to this day has not been used in another bike. It's an inline four, it's tilted on its side, keep the, uh, keep the weight low and uh, this motor was produced for oh, 20 years and turned out to be a very reliable design that uh, still has a huge following. Uh, when this motorcycle was introduced, it was um, styled by Hans Muth and uh, he was famous for the Suzuki Cantana and the BMW R65 LS. And I think he had some influence on the uh, BMW R90S, but uh, the styling, 1985 and even today, uh, what is it, uh, 25 years later, 
still a very good looking bike. This uh, 1985 bike, uh, now 25 years old, 53,000 miles, which if you do the math is a little over 2,000 miles a year. The paint is really uh, above par, appears to all be original paint. Under the seat we have the, uh, all the stickers from the factory and uh, we even have the original tool kit included. And what I would say is, uh, you know, K-Bikes, they were so reliable and so easy to uh, ride and maintain that most of these K-Bikes to this day are pretty much used up and to find one in this condition of this age is, is quite rare. So if you're a fan of the K-Bike or if you want a motorcycle that's timeless styling, gonna last another 25 years for sure, uh, this might be the bike to buy. It's not every day we get one this pristine uh, that's uh, this old in a K-Bike. If you have any questions, I'm available. You can reach me on the telephone. And uh, I'll start it up, let you hear it run. There she is. And one thing I forgot to mention, it does have a slip-on canister. So the exhaust is a little bit throaty. Not loud, but uh, it's got a nice little rumble to it. And, uh, 85K100RS.